wondering whether to buy or sell Meta stock. In this video, we'll be delving deep into Meta. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, November 22, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the potential of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since November 7, 2023, our system has identified Meta as a potential buy candidate, with a score of 4.68. Now, let's examine how the stock has performed during this period. It's important to note that the stock has experienced a gain of 7.11%. This translates to an average daily return of 0.59% since it was marked as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the upper part of a strong rising trend in the short term. This presents a potentially good opportunity for short-term traders to sell, as we can expect a reaction back towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock breaks above the top trend line at $345.20, it could indicate an even stronger rate of rising. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential 12.04% change over the next three months. The possible return ranges from minus 1.79% to 13.25%. On the 12-month trend, there is a projected 140.37% change over the next year, with a potential return between 115.54% and 183.38%. This suggests a price range of $736.05 to $967.70 after a year. Our latest daily update for Meta includes the headline, Meta stock price up 1.34% on Wednesday. On the last trading day, Wednesday, November 22, 2023, the Meta stock price increased by 1.34%, going from $336.98 to $341.49. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $338.66 and a high of $342.92, with a difference of 1.26%. It's important to note that in the past 10 days, the price has risen in 8 of them, showing a growth of 6.79% over the last two weeks. Additionally, the trading volume decreased by 538,000 shares on the last day, with a total of 10 million shares traded, equivalent to approximately $3.58 billion. Decreasing volume on higher prices can indicate a divergence and serve as an early warning for potential changes in the coming days. Looking at the broader picture, over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $342.92, while the lowest price was $108.38. Currently, the price sits 0.42% or $1.43 below the 52-week high. Moreover, it is 11.15% or $42.84 below the all-time high recorded on September 1, 2021, when it reached $384.33. Analyst Ratings On Monday, November 20, 2023, B. Riley Securities gave Meta a neutral grade with a hold action. On the same day, Wedbush gave Meta an outperform grade with a hold action. Also on Monday, November 20, 2023, Wells Fargo gave Meta an equal weight grade with a hold action. Moving back to Thursday, October 26, 2023, Goldman Sachs gave Meta a buy grade with a hold action. On the same day, KeyBank gave Meta an overweight grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Meta stock a general buy rating. They strongly recommend buying the stock based on the P-E ratio and price to book, which both have a strong buy rating. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have a neutral rating. Today, we'll be looking at the signals for Meta stock. The chart shows mostly positive signals for Meta. Both short and long-term moving averages indicate a buy signal, 
giving a positive forecast for the stock. Additionally, the relation between these signals confirms a general buy signal, with the short-term average above the long-term average. In case of downward corrections, there is support from the lines at $336.67 and $318.65. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, sell signals will be issued. On Thursday, October 26, 2023, a buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point. Since then, the stock has risen by 18.43%. It is expected to continue rising until a new top pivot is found. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, it's important to note that despite gaining prices, the volume fell during the last trading day. This creates a divergence between volume and price, which may serve as an early warning. Therefore, it is advised to closely monitor the stock. Today, I want to share some interesting signals with you that you might find useful in your trading strategy. The moving average convergence divergence signal is currently indicating a buy. Pivots have shown a buy signal 20 days ago. Bollinger bands are showing a buy signal 7 days ago. The short-term moving average has indicated a buy signal 17 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average has also shown a buy signal 17 days ago. Moreover, the relation between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 13 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart to gain more insights. The short moving average has indicated a buy signal 17 days ago. The long-term moving average has shown a buy signal 19 days ago. Furthermore, the relation between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 213 days ago. If you want to explore more signals, make sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today, we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for Meta. When looking at the downside, Meta's stock finds support just below today's level at two key points, $298.67 and $297.74. Support levels are important because they indicate where buyers are willing to step in and purchase the stock, potentially preventing further downward movement. However, if the stock breaks through these support levels, it may fall to the next support level. In this case, Meta's next support levels are at $298.67, followed by $297.74 and $288.35. It's important to consider the risk involved when a stock is testing a support level. If the support level is broken, it could lead to further downward movement. Given Meta's average movements during the day and good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. On the last trading day, the stock moved $4.26 between its high and low, representing a 1.26% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has had an average daily volatility of 1.82%. Before we explore the potential trading levels for Meta, let's first discuss some important fundamental data. One crucial measure is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. For Meta, the P-E ratio is relatively normal. It is often observed in businesses with a long history or predictable revenue streams. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is expected to be released on February 07, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $4.72. It's important to keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, let's delve into the potential day trading levels for Meta. When it comes to upward movement, Meta doesn't face any significant resistance from accumulated volume. This means that, under the right conditions, the stock has the potential to move swiftly upwards. If you decide to enter a position, keep an eye on the volume to determine the best time to exit. On the downside, Meta's first support level awaits at $298.67. If this support holds, it could be an excellent entry point to anticipate a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, the combined average rating for Meta is buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. The most recent insider trades involve Zuckerberg Mark, 
who bought and sold a total of 9,823 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we've determined that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of minus 31.925. Overall, insiders have purchased 116,662 shares and sold 227,366 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $326.36, which represents a decrease of 4.43%. This particular stock tends to have moderate daily movements, indicating a medium level of risk. Additionally, the RSI 14 value is 85, which significantly increases the risk. We have identified a buy signal from a pivot bottom that was observed 19 days ago, further supporting a positive outlook for this stock. Is Meta stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, we believe there are positive signals and a general upward trend that suggest Meta stock may be a good buying opportunity in the short term. However, it's important to note that our systems have detected an overvaluation in the current price, indicating caution. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, November 24, we anticipate Meta to open with a decline of $0.467 and begin trading at $341.02. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us provides information but should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your valuable insights. We're also curious about your target for the stock. Let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more trading tips and insights. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. Regards, the Stock Invest Team.